All right, here's a quick tutorial so that you know how to connect Sky Daemon with Microsoft Flight Simulator. You can also use For Flight using this method. It's great. Before we keep going, you should know that you're going to need a paid version of FSUI PC. It's a fantastic tool. Um, I use it for mapping my controls. It's far better in terms of calibration and it doesn't freeze up when you're using the mouse view. Really, really good stuff. Definitely recommend it. So you're going to have to shell out. Next, Flight Sim GPS is free. Click here to download the ex executable and install it. If you don't have it already, make sure to install 4.0, net, uh, .NET 4.0. You can click on it and then download it here and, that, and then just run that installer as well. With those two installed, make sure to purchase and install FSUI PC and to activate your license on installation. Once you've done that, make sure to fire up Flight Sim GPS, start your simulator, and as you do, you can open up FSUI PC. It'll be available in the system tray in the bottom right here. Obviously, when you open it up, it disappears from the system tray. Go into Options, GPS out. If your simulator is running, it's going to be slow. Give it time. Check to enable this GPS out and press OK. So now jump into your simulator. So I'm going to do the lazy engine start. And open up your navigation device. So in my case, it's going to be Sky Demon. Click on fly and I'm going to go use X plane. And it's working. So if I start taxi, you'll see that the aircraft has started to move. And so it's working. So I go ahead and take off. You can see it works pretty damn well. And there you go. This is how you use Sky Demon on Microsoft Flight Simulator. Nice and simple, and it will make you 30 euros cheaper, or poorer, should I say.